There's an 18 right there. Oh, 20 power shards. Alright then, hello and welcome back to another episode on Satisfactory with me, Spacefish, and welcome back to our gift-loaded mega factory. As you can see, Fix Maz is uh, still very much going on uh, with the presents kind of just piling up on each other. And uh, we are back here at our, uh, at our mega factory because in the last episode, as you can see, by the presence of this very pipe, we finally pulled out the entire oil pipeline all the way till here. We got everything set up, all the pumps, everything, and we do now finally have oil in our base and at our mega factory so today then it is going to be time to go ahead and uh, set up refineries uh, next to our mega factory I've I think kind of already developed an idea of what I want to do we're not going to integrate it like fully into the mega factory we're probably going to do like a little bit of a side platform which is going to be our refinery platform for the mega factory and there we're going to set up all the refineries that we ever wanted and um, get all the materials going that we need for all the fancy products that are hopefully soon to come. So that's the plan right there. Very much looking forward to that. But just quickly before we get going on that, if you're new around here and if you happen to enjoy this episode, please make sure to smash that subscribe button right down below. That would mean the absolute world to me. Uh, we're trying to hit one key subscribers. There's still a fair few to go, so every single person would truly help out a ton. Thank you very much if you did that, and let's get going. Now, um, my idea, as I previously said, would be to go right here and kind of... I think about on that level, just pull out another platform, which is going to go, like, across and around all this, like, logistical stuff that we have. And then we're going to have, like, a little bit of a space, basically. Maybe I even have a better idea. We could make, like, a little walkway. I don't know if we have anything in terms of, like, glass or stuff yet. I kind of feel we don't, and we still need to research that. Uh, cheat. What is Cheat. That, that doesn't sound all too legitimate. Um, the one thing that I am thinking is maybe... I, I'm not quite sure I remember this quite correctly, but I'm thinking if maybe you were able to get some glass from the whole ticketing system thing. So we're going to go and check that out here right now. Uh, just quickly, while we're running over though, uh, if you haven't already heard me mention this in another video, of course I hope you had a very, very great and Merry Christmas everyone, and that you had a good time with your family and your loved ones in those few days of silence and peace and, you know, um, if I don't see you again, of course, before the new year also that you will have a very very great start into the new year hopefully it's going to be a lot better than the last one now we do have 15 coupons right here i do have one in my inventory um gates that is actually really cool that is actually really cool i need that in the factory most definitely now what i'm interested in though ooh. There's so many cool things I didn't even know about. I'm, I'm uh, really interested, to be honest, if we're going to be able to research that in a future, uh, at a future point as well. Um, that's crazy. Okay, well, there's the statues and all those we knew about. Architecture, so structural. Looks quite cool as well, I do have to say. But I would love some sort of glass stuff. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be available just yet, so maybe we'll just make like a small walkway for now that we're not going to cover in anything, and uh, hopefully in the future we get some cool glass. You even get like customizer patterns and stuff. Or maybe that is possible with the new customizer thingy. Because that's of course something that came in in patch 3.15. I'm not quite sure how this works. I do have to say, like this, this for example, there, there's a lot of cool materials really liking that. Coated concrete foundations, asphalt foundations. It's actually quite cool. I would really honestly love like a coated concrete foundation. I think we're going to go get ourselves that. Is that something that I'm going to get permanently unlocked that way? I hope so. We're going to go print some coupons, I guess. Oh. <laughs> okay, you gotta actually grab those. I'm not sure that was always that way, but I think that's quite cool. Uh, cost to build to plastic. 
uh, apply to foundations and ramps to convert them. So I guess we convert them with a customizer and we use two plastic for that purpose. So we're going to make a standard foundation for now, but maybe we can come back at a later point to go and change that. We're going to go buy that. Uh, it's a schematic, so nothing in our inventory taken up. The one thing that I'm also really interested in is how you get the converter thingy in general. I've not worked on this at all yet, by the way, to be honest. I, uh, really didn't find the time or motivation to be quite honest with you all. Um, especially over Christmas. I, I think that, uh, is understandable. I hope that's understandable for everyone. Uh, in terms of the custom, I'm not sure, like, how do I get that thing? Um, equipment workshop, probably? Is that a thing that I can make just yet? It doesn't appear to be the case. Maybe there's, like, some... I think I dumped that there, maybe. <laughs> oh, wait. My calendar. I forgot. We can open all the dank stuff. Um, the thing is, you know, we would kind of require some inventory space for that. I do think I parked my truck somewhere around here, did I? Did I not? Where did they park the truck, everyone? Please tell me we didn't leave that standing in the middle of nowhere. No, it's up there. God. Um... Oh, have I closed myself out here? No, we should be able to go around. Okay, let's let's bring the tractor over, I guess. We do need its inventory space for a quick minute. I uh, feel that we're just going to deposit some of these building materials in there, because, well, you know, I mean, we're going to be able to use them in a minute anyways, and I'm probably going to pull, like, some of the concrete anyways when we go and start building away at the mega factory, so uh, having that thing with us is going to be quite useful anyways. And, uh, yes, I know you can automate these things and all. Great and glorious, but we don't really need that, to be honest. Like, uh, conveyors work so nicely. I'm really not bothered with my trucks automatically zooming across the place. The only thing that really interests me for the future would be like a train or something for some faraway resource deposits where we need things and where it's maybe like a little harder to access. Even that we could probably do with conveyors, but you've got to introduce some new cool stuff at some point, right? The tractor, though, I think for us is going to just stay a bit of a means of transportation, to be honest. Now, I'm going to park this thing right here because I uh, do kind of want to open up that calendar. Uh, we could... I don't know. Well, I'm just going to... No! Oh, no! Wait! No! I wanted to eat it! No. Oh. Okay. All right. Goodbye, berries. Rip berries. So, what I'm interested in here... No, there's new, no new researchers right there. Um, there is that new truck right there, which is quite cool. Um, oil processing we have done. Which one have we currently complete phase three? Wait, we've got no research selected. Well, that's, I guess, because we don't have any of the cool materials. But the good thing is we can already check out here what we are going to be looking to make. Uh, first things first. I mean, a gas mask would be quite useful for all the slugs that we've already found in the toxic environments. So, um... Maybe soon as you want to get that going. But what we need for that is... What do I get fabric from? I mean, these are obviously um, oil products, but fabric? Is that something I make here? A computer. Advanced behavior in machines. Okay, that's cool. I haven't seen that before. Um, these, of course, we do need for phase three. So, I mean, that would... Honestly, probably be something that we want to get going more or less soon. Manufacturer sounds quite useful too. So these are both um, evidently oil-based products. We want to make plastic and rubber then. That we already know. Um, even here, it's just rubber, uh, no, plastic and uh, this heavy modular frame. Which appears like we would be able to make it already as well. Probably, well, we need that manufacturer thingy for it though. As you can see, that's like four inputs for one output. Um... Packaged water. Interesting. That could be useful sometime in the future for generators and stuff. Um. Okay. And yeah, then we can like package all the fuel and everything, which will be also quite useful. Fluid buffer. Um, industrial size. Very nice. Um, probably would want to upgrade my water pipes with that as well. Potentially, definitely the oil pipes. Um. Okay, so I, I think, I mean, industrial manufacturing is kind of the milestone that we will have to go for here. Uh, I do not see anything in terms of the customizer thingy. 
to be honest. Ooh, trains, nice. I like this jetpack. Well, that's unfortunately still a tad bit out. Not too far, honestly. Not too far, actually. Um, we do have that tier unlocked. And we do kind of not need that much for it. We do need to package some fuel, but otherwise. Oh, and that's where you use computers, I guess, for the research itself. Fuel generator? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, so that's nice and useful. I like this all, and this is where we get the micro pipe. So that there's a lot of cool and useful stuff in the pipeline there. The only thing that we haven't found thus far is the actual customizer thing. Um, I'm really not sure. I am really, really not sure. Oh, this need, this we needed. Fabric. That we actually need. The question is, what do we need? Micellia and biomass. Did I not have micellia somewhere, like found by doggos or something? How do I harvest those? Here, 15. I need more, though. How do you harvest micellia in, 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 scrap, uh, in scrap mechanic and satisfactory? Can, can any one of you let me know down below in the comments? Like, in case you know, please, um... Please give me a clue. We don't need the copper ore. Thanks, doggo. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm gonna have to find out how to get micellia. Yeah, we don't have enough for that research, unfortunately. But we're gonna need that. Uh, fabric is definitely gonna be important. And, you know, if you know how to get the customizer thingy, I would also greatly appreciate that end. Because, uh, currently, I have got uh, absolutely no idea, unfortunately. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to work like that. Let's go and work on the mega factory now. Get some refineries going. We've already wasted too much time anyways in trying to find this out. Wait. We forgot about this one, right? Got to get that. Got to get that good stuff going. Christmas ornaments and stuff. Oh, God. Where do I put all this? Um, that is nice and useful. Medical and healer, I think, you used, you used to heal. I'm just going to spam click most of this so we can go through it rather quickly. What is that? Fireworks! Ooh! Equipment fireworks. Do I need to manufacture those? Guys, we have fireworks. We need fireworks in our life, right? We all need fireworks in our life, am I right? Color cartridge. Yeah, so this thing, I guess, is for applying patterns to structures with a customizer. How do I get the customizer, though? I'm so confused. Also, I need to dump some stuff on the ground now. So, um, this, that, that, or, blue power slug? Wait, where did I get a blue power slug? Did I get that on my adventures with you guys? Did I absolutely miss that, or is that something I got from the calendar? I'm not quite sure. But yes, I mean, we got color cartridges for customizing. I just would need an actual customizing thingy. Got a superposition oscillator, which, uh... Sounds like a useful thing. I think we got some of those previously, potentially. There's an 18 right there. Oh, 20 power shards. We just got 20 power shards. I'm so happy. We're just supplying ourselves with Fixmas power shards, basically. We don't even need to find power slugs if uh, we, we only make enough episodes so that every Fixmas we get a sufficient amount for them to continue. <laughs> I, I like that idea. Should we just keep going like that? Ooh. Premium Fixmas skin. For the customizer. Wait a second. Can we paint our base like all Christmas and stuff? I need that customizer thingy in my life now. Please help. Someone tell me now. <laughs> while I'm recording this episode how to get that. <laughs> that would be great. There's so much stuff in this calendar though. Now I don't want to miss all the good stuff with your actual snow. Huh. Okay. There goes the actual snow I guess. I think we may have stored the oscillators in here, yeah. We need another storage chest, by the way. Excuse the mess. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this over with real quick so we can continue on the actual factory itself. Um, there's a 10. It's a star. Uh, 19. A few coupons, that's always useful. Uh, do you guys see anything else? I'm not quite sure. I may just be a bit uh, blind or something. And missing one or two. Probably am. Oh, there's a 24 one and a 24 there. Oh, more coupons. Oh, nice. Okay, that's great. What is this? Finger guns emote? I like that. I don't know how to use emotes in this game, but that's cool. Um, do we have anything else? We have a 
message on my phone. Apologies. Uh, eight. God. That was well hidden, honestly. That was well hidden. There's a quantum computer for us. That's nice. Um, boop, 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 boo. Just going to have one more look around. There's a 17 up there that we haven't taken yet. One call. Nice. Stank. Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Coffee Stain Studios. Love you. We did open that, did we? Yeah. Uh, not seeing anything throughout there. Not seeing anything throughout there. I think we got most of the things. I'm sure there's still things hidden somewhere. If there are things hidden somewhere, and I didn't see them because I'm blind, please scream at me down below in the comments and we'll come back to that on another episode. We are now going to finally go and work on that mega factory setup because we've already spent like 10-15 minutes on Fixmas. So, you know, got, got to actually get going on the production setup thing that I promised we would work on this episode. Uh, there is a little jump. Yeet! And on we go. So, the interesting point is going to be I would ideally like to have a little bit of a walkway across, so it would have to be, I suppose, either on the second floor or on the first floor. Well, um, that is like German floors. I'm not sure where you're... That's new! There's doors in the doorways now! I love that! That's great. This is a great update. I'm liking it. So, I mean options rise right? either we have the walkway here which would actually allow us to nicely seclude it from the rest of the factory have a doorway right here to enter the factory and then like go out hereish I like that to be honest there's nothing in the way here we can actually seclude this area a tad bit. Let's do this. Okay. So, um, we'll do some internal walls here. Where did my other kind of walls go? Oh. Wait. Oh, no filter. Okay. Okay. So, there's the other side of the sort of walls. We're going to use the other sort of walls, basically. Um, they did change these, didn't they? They look the same from both sides now, do they? Yup. Even these? Even those. Okay, these walls look the same from both sides now, I guess. Oh, that is an issue. Guess we're not going to be able to totally seclude that unless... I don't want to have some internal walls there anyways, but... Um... The, 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 the question is going to be... Hmm. There is no two-meter version of these walls, right? There's a one-meter version of those walls. Why is there no two-meter version of those? It's actually quite nice. I didn't know that was a thing. That is useful. That's very useful. Where's my one-meter version of this wall, though? Hmm. Okay, now, I mean, the idea basically being here... I think we would even just use a one-meter foundation make it kind of look a bit more flat. I, I really want a customizer. Well, we don't have it yet, do we? Not that I remember, at least. No, we don't. I don't quite know how to get that. We need to also tear that back down. Didn't leave any materials there now, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, basically, the idea would be... That poison is really in a bad spot, isn't it? Um, I hope that's not going to become an issue for us. But the idea would be to have like a little bit of a walkway like this, right? Uh, have a bit of space down there basically for the tractor to drive through. And then out here we would start with a two meter foundations. Maybe like erect a few pillars eventually. And this is our refining platform. Now, the issue being this poison. I would really like to get rid of those poisonous plants. Oh god, that was a lag that I really couldn't use. But I'm not sure there's a way to do that, to be honest. I'm really not sure there's a way to do that and actually get rid of it. Can I go to here without dying from poison? I think I can. Okay. 
So yeah, this is basically going to be the idea then. Uh, we will put some pillars down uh, to put this entire thing on, basically. Maybe we will buy, like, some of these pillars that we uh, just saw in the coupon thingy. In the coupon shop. I really like those. And then we're going to put this platform on pillars, basically. Have it be, like, a little bit of a side building. And, I mean, basically, what I want to do here is make this, like, entire glass walls. Maybe even the floor out of glass. I just have, like, this cool glass uh, walkway that you walk across to get onto the actual platform itself. I love that idea. I hope you all like it, too. Uh, to me, that sounds like a great thing. Um, I hope it will be. <laughs> we, we will see about that part, I suppose. Well, let me go and pull out this fa uh, foundation for now. And then we can already maybe go and plan a little bit how to put down these refineries. I think we made the right choice floor-wise as well, to be honest. If we hadn't made the choice to put things on this floor, we would have probably had a bit of an issue with like actually getting the oil over here. Uh, we would have probably needed like pumps and all, so... I think this floor is the good way to go, honestly. This uh, this is decent. So, the idea here being then, I think we will have... Should we have another door here? We will have another door here. We'll make it an orange door. Which we will find right here. Center door wall. Boop. Uh, that was weird. And we will have another little orange door right there. And well, you know, the, the rest of the walls and everything we can kind of build when we've uh, laid out the refineries. Now, the interesting part also becomes how do we transport the stuff over. But I think we can honestly just have, like, some conveyors going left to right here, basically. Well, not left to right, but going across. That should be totally fine. And uh, then we can start building refineries here. Now, the question is, how many do we need? I'm not quite sure. I said we need plastic and rubber, so that's going to be the interesting part. Uh, in and out, so I mean the in should be on this side here. In general, size-wise, we should be able... I think we're going to start about here-ish. Oh my god, no! That is if I ever managed to line this properly. This is really janky right now. Thank you. Is that good? We'll have to see. I think we may need to pull it one closer. Or not. The length of these is very weird, I have to say. I mean, it kind of triggers me a bit. Yeah, I think we need to redo that one. No, not the foundry or refinery is what we want. So, uh, we'll try that again. We'll place it like one further that direction. And hopefully that's going to center things a bit more. Of course not. Well, I mean, it does center things a bit more. The thing is, I'm not sure you can actually properly center those. Let me not pull that one down just yet and just place like another trial one next to it, right? One further back and see if that's better for centering or not. Okay, yeah, that's best for centering. Okay, so basically we go like two little steps in from the corner here. So we align this like that. And then from here we go one, two. Oh my god, I can't even count one, two because it's so janky. It just jumps so quickly. One, two, boom. Okay, that's going to be our first refinery. Beautiful. But yeah, you can see why I'm not putting this into the mega factory. This is just so big. I mean, honestly, it just doesn't fit the floor layout at all, even. And honestly, I mean, why in the world would we want to put it all the way up there just to, like, have, like, 15 pumps pumping it there when we can just do something like this? So, uh, what we want is going to be plastic. Residual plastic also being an interesting one. What do we need for that? Water. Water and this polymer resin, which we get from fuel production. So, you know, that's an interesting one, but we can make plastic in the first place, which does leave us with this residual stuff, which we can make fuel from. So, I think we're just going to go that way around. The interesting part being, we need three fuel for this, right? Out of this, 
how much do we get out here? Three polymer resin, which we need six for two residual plastic. So we get one unit of plastic out of six units of fuel here, and we get... Okay, so it's like kind of a bit more of what do you want exactly. Because as you can see, we get less plastic here, even if we use the residual stuff. And if we go here, we, we get two plastic from three units of fuel, as opposed to like one plastic from three units of fuel here. Uh, no, one plastic from six units of fuel even. So one plastic from six units of fuel through this, two plastic through three like this, but we get one cubic meter of heavy oil residue on top of that, out and down of six we get like four. So, you know, we get less fuel, but we want the plastic really, and the fuel we can kind of just accumulate over time. Um, which, that said, you know, we should probably make that residual fuel anyways. Now, rubber, we do get heavy oil residue too, so that's actually quite nice. Basically, that means we kind of could use three refineries then. One for the fuel, that we get out of the residual stuff, and two for plastic and rubber. And petro uh, petroleum coke, I guess we just ignore for now. I suppose that we could maybe use that in the future for some stuff, but for the time being, we're going to focus on plastic and rubber. So this one, this first one, is going to be for the plastic then. We're going to leave a tad bit of space between them, uh, as usual, you know. Don't need to cram things too much now. Nope, that's too far. Please. Nope, that's too close, that's too far, that's too... Oh my god, seriously? I don't know if it's just me, but this just got very janky, it feels like. Oh no, please, please. Okay, let me let me tune down my mouse sensitivity to the max, right? One, two, there we go. Now I can only move my mouse like this, but... <laughs> at least, you know, at least it works. So what we're gonna do here... I think we're gonna... Oh god. Uh, we're gonna go set up another refinery about here maybe maybe we have to extend that out a tad bit or we do just not quite center it so we can actually get a wall going and uh, we put that there so that is going to be our residual fuel refinery right so we actually get that out too I think that's going to be very useful the thing is though I would actually pull that one closer to here so we've got some space for like pipelines and stuff coming out from it let me tune down that mouse sensitivity again. What? No. Even more. One. Two. Two. God. I mean, that's like 100 DPI or something, everyone, right? Like, look. This is the speed at which I'm moving my mouse. And it's still jumping around like that. Absolutely insane. Why are these closed up? Do those only open up when you put a recipe? I guess they only open up when you put a conveyor, right? Or they're just buggy like that? That seems a bit weird to me. Is that that way for everyone, or is my game just a bit bugged? Well, these outs don't look like that. Do these inputs look like that? Nope. I guess that's just my game being buggy like that. Okay. Uh, so here's plastic then. Uh, here will be rubber. And uh, then we have to kind of pump this all out and yank things around a bit. And we will be making residual fuel right here, which we'll have to see how we actually want to use that, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we pack it up for now so we can use it for fuel for ourselves. We don't have a fuel generator yet or anything. So I guess that would be the only option, which I don't even know if we can pack it up. So maybe we'll just put it in a tank for now or something. We'll see. We'll find out. For today, we'll end it off right here. Next episode, then we'll connect this all up. We'll get the rubber flowing. We'll get the plastic flowing. And we'll hopefully already look at our next few more advanced products, as well as taking care of that industrial manufacturing milestone that we now just set for ourselves. So, very much looking forward to that. I hope you all are as well. For today, though, we'll end it off right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button right down below. That does always help out a ton with the performance. Uh, make sure to leave some comments on all my questions down below as well, please. Especially, like, the customizer. And, um, well, if I left any... Um of the fields unclicked in the uh, calendar thingy um, would, would be very helpful indeed. Thank you so much for that. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also, of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below, as well as that bell icon right next to it in order to stay up to date in all the future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way, then, as usual, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.